This is so simple. So many people laugh, but then they wonder why they're broke. Their parents were broke. It's the same thing. You, your parents and your environment have such a control on who you are now. We're gonna have these results here. The law of attraction states that the energy we put out is the energy that we get back. The stick figure is a concept that changed my life in two ways. The first way that it changed my life was because I realized why I was failing. Because I was so good at gathering information. What I thought success was in business was I take a course. The course teach me how to run Facebook ad and marketing, how to post on social media. And I gather a lot of information. Then I go do stuff. And then I would do stuff and I wouldn't get results. After six months, I went broke. I wasn't happy and I wasn't having fun. And then I would jump to something else. So I was like, everything that school taught me to be successful wasn't working for me. And that's how I ended up at the seminar with Bob. But then I met Bob and he put the stick figure in made it so simple that we had a second part called the subconscious mind. Most people didn't talk about it. Or if they did, they would just like speak about it, but they didn't actually add like a visual to it or really dive into dive into it that deep or how to change it or really what it was. So when I was at this event, Bob was, I was like, damn, the reason I'm failing is because of my subconscious mind. So in order to change your subconscious mind, you must first understand and get an image of it. Your mind is an activity. It's not your brain. It's not matter. It's an activity. We have Albert Einstein's brain in a jar in New Jersey right now, but Albert's not with it and neither is his mind. His brain is there. So you might understand that you're not your, you're not your brain. Your brain is just an electromagnetic switching station that moves different stuff, but your mind lives throughout your body. This is the stick figure here. Okay. It's very simple. Anybody can understand it. You could teach this to a child. Let the top part, let it represent your mind. Let the bottom part, let it represent your body. Top part. We're going to break it up into two parts by this little line here. We're going to call this top part the conscious mind. The conscious mind is your thinking mind. It's your thinking mind. It's your intellectual mind. It's the mind you use to memorize stuff. It's the mind you're using right now to listen to, listen to me. This part of the mind controls 5% of results. 5% of your res results inside of this conscious mind, you have two really cool receptors. So two ways to bring in senses, right? Two ways to bring in information into the conscious mind is your spiritual facu faculties. That's prim P R I I M. Do you remember what that stands for? Perception, reason, imagination, intuition, and memory. Yes. So that's going to be your spiritual receptors, your spiritual ways to bring in information. You can bring in your information by closing your eyes and imagining yourself driving your dream car, living your dream life, traveling the world with your family, that you're bringing in information through your spiritual faculties that are connected to which part of the mind, the conscious mind. You can create with that. The conscious mind is the one that separates you from all other living creatures. A dog can only be a dog. A bird can only be a bird. A tree can only be a tree. Guess what? You guys can be whatever you want to be. You want to be a movie star. You want to be a reggaetonero. You want to be a SED. You want to be a millionaire, whatever you want. You can do it because you have the ability to think. You have the ability to use your consciousness. You have the ability to create that creative faculty being in your imagination. So that's your spiritual ways to gather information. The other one is your physical. Those being your five senses, see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. That's your other way to bring in information. So we've been conditioned to live in the physical by our senses. You don't see the money in your bank account. Therefore you are broke. You don't see yourself having a nice, beautiful body. So why even try to get in the gym? You hear from the doctor that you're going to, you know, you have cancer or you have this disease. And that's not who you are. You hear, see, smell, taste, and touch. You can't touch the money, the, the goal. Therefore, it's not real. Have you heard people say, once I see it, I'll believe it? That was, that was my grandfather. In truth, they were kind of telling the truth. Once you see it, I'll believe it. Great. Close your eyes and let's see it then. Once you see it in the mind, then you'll believe it in the heart and then you'll see it and you'll touch it in the hand. Conscious mind. It only controls 5% of your results. That 5% just being right here in your imagination, I, I would believe. There's no science or anything. Everybody says it. But if I was to like break that down, somebody says, well, DeAndre, why is it 5%? I would say just because you have these mental, these spiritual faculties right here and they just keep you alive. Now we have the subconscious mind. Now the subconscious mind, there you go. This looks way better. Subconscious mind controls 95% of your results. The word we're going to have here is feeling. It's your feeling mind. It's where your paradigm sits. It's your programming. 
the subconscious mind will express whatever is impressed upon it so if you impress on it that you're clumsy who, who knows that girl or that person that's oh, i'm so clumsy oh, i'm so clumsy i'm so clumsy my mom you're, you're not clumsy you're just impressing that upon you and that's why it's real now and you're gonna fulfill what you say so we have been conditioned since a child by people that love us but don't have our best interests in mind in the life that we want to create because when you come in as a, as a child until the age of six or seven years old you're literally just a subconscious mind this part of a, a child is missing and that's why a child will typically always mimic their environment because they don't have this ability to think it's not developed until six seven eight years old if we take a child that was born in australia ruth's neighbor we take ruth's neighbor and the family moves that child over here to my next door neighbor here in miami from a child will that child have an english accent or an american accent or an australian accent the baby was born in australia it was ruth's neighbor right there but the baby grew up here in miami what kind of accent will that child have an american accent will it understand a little bit of spanish it could potentially learn a little, little spanish because in miami there's a huge latino culture this is so simple so many people laugh but then they wonder why they're broke their parents were broke it's the same thing you your parents and your environment have such a control on who you are now and the person goes into business and business by the way especially network marketing will expose your paradigm it will expose you and you blame the business or the outside world when really you're just getting exposed of your programming. So the child comes in and they're just a pure subconscious mind and everything, all this information is just flooded from their environment. And that starts to form the child's self image. And the child starts to believe certain things. We're not a body, we're spiritual beings having a human experience. So this body of ours is literally an instrument. So I want you guys to see yourself as literally walking consciousness. We're literally all connected. We're literally walking consciousness and we have this little thing called the body and so here we are with the subconscious mind and this body here is just the the manifestation of this of this pure consciousness so this little body of ours is just spirit consciousness expressing itself the only thing is is it expressing it in the way that you want or what you don't want most of us is what we don't want not because we're bad people I don't care if you're Christian or atheist, if you're Spanish, German, black or whatever. I don't care if you love money or hate money. It does, has nothing to do with that, it has everything to do with programming. So that's where the body comes into play. Now, the body, what is the body? What is the relationship between all of this here? The body will always act in alignment with this subconscious mind. The things that you do is 100% alignment mirror reflection of the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind and the body are connected. That way we can get a really big understanding about the two of these. So we're, what we're going to do, act. And actions produce, you're going to act, and those actions produce results. We're going to have these results here. The law of attraction states that the energy we put out is the energy that we get back. Therefore, the actions that we produce is a field. There's a word that we talk about, which is attitude. Attitude is your thoughts, feelings, and actions.